Hey guys, how are you doing? My name's Lama and today I want to talk to you about how you can make gold from taking advantage of the people who stream WoW Gold advice. To be a little bit more precise, we're actually going to look at how market forces work and how you can use them to your advantage using an example that I actually just used for my own gold reserves. So let's dive in. So step one, a popular YouTuber brings out a WoW Gold video. We all know what happens here, student or want to buy gold brings out a video and thousands of people clamour to copy them and then they moan that the price isn't as good for them as it was for the guy bringing out the video. The reason for this is that all those copycats that watched the video have went and ruined the market and what was once in low supply has now become in ridiculously high supply and obviously that has a knock on effect on the price. But this is actually not something really that you want to be complaining about because it's actually the opportunity that you have to take advantage of. So the price being so low obviously means that you can purchase the items a lot cheaper than you normally would. The example I'm actually going to be using today is the one that Want to Buy Gold recently brought out a video on farming Spirits of Harmony. This video was actually originally intended to be looking at the efficiency of what he said and how you could farm Heart of Fear for the Spirits. But when I did my research on the auction house for the effect that his video had had on the price of Spirits of Harmony on my realm, I realised that farming them was just not going to be efficient. I could purchase them for such a low price that I didn't actually need to farm them. So naturally when a very large name has brought out a video that is an excellent guide on how to farm an excellent product within the game, it's not all that big of a stretch of the imagination to realize that it's done quite successful and a lot of people have tried to cash in on it so because the price has come tumbling down i was able to purchase spirits of harmony for a hundred gold a spirit compared to the 400 that they normally are on my realm i imagine that's a bit more of a gap a bit more of a disparity on my realm than what a lot of you will see but i do imagine that there will certainly be a profit margin in there for all of you but that being said, obviously that profit margin comes in from buying the items. You're not going to be following the guy that was brought out and farming that item. Enough people are doing that and there isn't a lot of gold to be made in doing what everyone else is doing. What you want to be doing is taking advantage and making gold from what they are doing. So what you're going to do is you're going to purchase these Spirits of Harmony while the price is so incredibly low. And then soon enough, people are going to get frustrated with farming these items because the price has dropped so low or maybe the YouTuber in question or one of the others has brought out another video on a new farm and they all move to that. And sooner or later, their reserves of Spirits of Harmony or whatever it is that you're using for when you're trying this out are going to dwindle. They're going to drop. And as a result, when supply starts to go lower again, the price is going to go up and you're just going to resell the Spirits. It's as easy as that if you want it to be as easy as that and you can make quite a large profit margin if you imagine since Spirits of Harmony have been out since Mists of Pandaria there isn't too much that affects the price of these anymore at least not in the game sense it's all just in terms of what people are talking about so there is no reason to think that the prices of these spirits aren't going to go back to where they've always been so in my case it's going to go back up hopefully to three four hundred gold a spirit at which point i've tripled my money or at least i would have if that was the direction that i was going to go with my spirits but i'm actually going to be a little bit more risky with what i do with them and that's what we're going to talk about next so this slightly more risky option that i went for actually relates to the fact that the people that play wow are real people not economists so unlike the real world where if a materials price suddenly inflates the end product will also inflate to match and that will ha that little process will happen incredibly quickly more so than most people would ever notice but this is not true in wow it takes people time to catch on that a price of a material increasing means that the price of the end product should also increase and as a result there is a potential there for you to cash in before the market shifts so with the example i'm using here today the spirits of harmony I was able to acquire these spirits and then convert them into living steel. So what I did was I acquired my spirits. I went to the vendor in the city, depending on, which varies depending on whether you are Horde or Alliance in Mr. Pandaria, who trades spirits of harmony for crafting materials of the same expansion. I split 
200 spirits into purchasing evenly the black trillium ore and the white trillium ore and then smelted those down into trillium bars so my 200 spirits actually got me 250 trillium bars and on my realm currently trillium bars are selling for four times the price that the spirits of harmony were so as well as quadrupling my money in the value per item i also acquired 25 percent more of the items in question to be sold so already there we're looking at a massive massive profit margin but then any of you who've seen my other videos will know i'm a big fan of living steel so what i did was i sent that trillion bar over to my alchemist as well as some more of the cheap spirits of harmony that i purchased and i then converted those into living steel now i actually ended up walking away from this i took only forty thousand gold worth of spirits of harmony but that was 400 spirits of harmony and i've managed to convert that into having 80 ish living steel bars as well as about 40,000 golds worth of trillion bars left over that I didn't have enough spirits left over to convert into living steel. So when all said and done, those two items sold back on the auction house at market value will get me a roughly 170,000 gold back on my realm, which is about the price of a WoW token. So for 20 minutes work, flying around, talking to a vendor and smelting some ores, having purchased the materials so cheap on the auction house, I've got myself a WoW token. A month's gameplay for 20 minutes work, which is really not that bad. So that's the example I'm using for this video, but it does not have to be limited to Spirits of Harmony. The principle of market forces work for everything. So the next time you see a WoW gold streamer bring out a guide, have a watch for all the materials that they've shown you how to farm and the price that they are being sold at. You watch as it plummets and you take that chance to exploit the gold potential. So that's going to do it for this video guys. If you did enjoy the content please do like the video. If you have any questions regarding what I've discussed here today please do let me know down in the comments below. I do read and do my utmost to respond to every comment. And if you really want to keep up to date with my next tips on wild gold then please do consider subscribing to the channel. I do greatly appreciate it. But for now that's going to do us guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.